The government is preparing for another round of reforms. The cabinet is meeting today to discuss reforms in the insurance and pension sector, amongst other things. The government's proposal is to increase FDI in the insurance sector from 26% to 49%. Now, there is also a proposal to open up the pension sector to foreign investment. The government hopes to bring in up to $15 billion in the next two quarter itself by opening up this sector. The next wave of reforms will also focus on infrastructure, with the government proposing to set up a national investment board headed by the Prime Minister. Now, this board will ensure fast-tracking clearance for infrastructure projects. The company will bring in all sectors under the Companies Act and also will be taking up during the meet slated for the evening today. Now, this is the second time in a month that the Cabinet is considering such major reforms push despite the uproar over FDI in retail. Meanwhile, the government faces clearly an uphill battle to get the parliament on board on its reform push with opposition parties like BJP Left Front as well as erstwhile allies like Mamta Banerjee staunchly opposing the proposal, calling them anti-people and conforming to foreign interests. We were always opposed, TMC, to privatization of the pension sector because this concerns the security, the future of wage earners. We are also opposed to raising the cap on FDI in insurance sector to 49%. So the government's efforts to bring in FDI in this regard ought to be resisted by all right-thinking political parties. Now, why to allow FDI in insurance sector? CPI and all left parties will stoutly oppose this move. And again, you are allowing private uh, capital to come in, foreign capital to come in. What will happen? Why should they come? Unless they look for big profit. Otherwise, they are not coming to serve the interests of Indian nation. If Dr. Manmohan Singh government claims it is government of Ahmad, that government should act accordingly. Government should have a social responsibility and uh, government should not allow the private capital, the foreign capital to come in and loot the pension funds of our uh, working people. All right, let's cut across uh, to Mayur Jha, part of our business team tracking the story and our political senior editor Javed Ansari getting us the very latest. All eyes, of course, at 4.30 p.m. That is when this cabinet will start and our business team and political team would be getting us all the implications on either sides of that boundary. Let's cut across to Mayur first. Uh, Mayur, coming to you. After months of, pol of uh, policy paralysis from the government, here comes the good news. Uh, clearly being reflected where the Sensex is concerned. What reactions coming in from the industrialists? Uh, absolutely. In fact, uh, first thing first, uh, pretty all important cabinet uh, meeting to clear some of the most important policy decisions is about to begin. Most of the ministers have uh, come in and uh, this cabinet today, like you pointed out, is going to be a very important move in uh, ending the perceived policy paralysis that had gripped the government till about recently. Uh, in less than one month, uh, th this will be the second round of big boost to the uh, reforms in the country. The markets have given a thumbs up and uh, clearly I have been talking to a lot of market insiders and they say that this thumbs up uh, clearly uh, means uh, a thumbs up to Mr. Ch Chidambaram. They are saying that it's the Chidambaram effect that the markets are seeing now. So most of them are saying that the markets could rally to beyond 20,000 levels as well, the levels that were there in about 2007. And we have never witnessed uh, ever since then. Uh, so, pretty, uh, the markets are anxiously awaiting the outcome of this meeting. We must remember that the markets in its rally have incorporated the fact that these are not the decisions that can be implemented by an executive order. These are decisions that can be implemented only by legislative ratification. So, these decisions have to go to parliament where mm -hmm. in at least the higher uh, upper house in the Rajya Sabha, exactly. the government is in a clear minority. So, it will not be very easy for the government to implement these decisions. But despite that, it's the intent of the government, it's the rock-solid intent of the government uh, to unleash reform measures, one reform measure after the other, that is getting the thumbs up from the markets. All right, but uh, clearly where political implications are concerned, the government has an entirely different battle there. Uh, let's get more uh, on that uh, from Jawed Ansari, a senior editor who's with us live on the story. Jawed, uh, a brave move by the government. Clearly, the market's giving it a thumbs up, the industry giving it a thumbs up. Uh, 
but having said that political implications javed of this because we do know when push comes to shove this bill which is going to go on the floor of the parliament might not be ratified yes certainly not in the rat sabha in the lok sabha given the numbers the government may just about scrape through but in the rat sabha it, this bill cannot uh, pass without the support of the bjp the bjp had uh, earlier in the past the last time in fact when this uh, when mr pranab mukherjee as finance minister had mooted this proposal the bjp had indicated that they would be willing to support fdi in pension however given the changed political atmosphere the surcharged political atmosphere we are in the midst of elections in himachal pradesh and gujarat the mm -hmm. bjp may not be inclined to oblige the government so therefore the government will have its task cut out but it has certainly signals it is its intent it's also you know a bold departure from the muddleness the lack of clarity the indecisiveness that characterized the functioning of this government they have now decided on a road map a road map and they have decided this is the way forward and they will bash on regardless irrespective of the opposition from the likes of mamta banerji and the left as also the uh, opposition from the from within the and upa alliance you know we're going to come back to your political implications javed let's quickly cut across to mayur as well and get a quick reaction from him on the story mayur break it down for us break it down for our viewers what fdi in pension means clearly it will bring in a lot more than the earlier debatable fdi in retail uh, absolutely pretty in fact if we take into account just these two sectors insurance and pension according to rough estimates of the finance ministry the inflow in real terms in a matter of a couple of weeks from announcing these decisions will be to the tune of 30 billion dollars we picked up from very uh, top sources in the finance ministry that berkshire has committed that as soon as insurance sector cap is released Uh, they will bring in about eight, they will pump in about 8 to 10 billion dollars uh, alone uh, so you have berkshire you have aig you have a lot of these insurance players who are looking at a pie of the indian uh, insurance market which is highly unpenetrated at this point in time so the real impact on economy will be huge there have uh, there are of course apprehensions related to the pension sector pension is a very touchy it's a very sensitive issue to the indian middle mm -hmm. class pension is something that uh, especially the government employs mm, that's the most important savings that the government employs uh, bank upon and the opposition of course is to the fact that uh, it will uh, opening up of the pension sector will make the most important savings vulnerable to market risks uh, well that apprehension apart the fact that it will unleash a new era of reforms the fact that it will bring in a huge amount of capital uh, these are things that cannot be ruled out and this is precisely the premise on which the government is going ahead with these reforms of course right. there is the fact that 30 billion dollars of inflow will give the government a the comfort to unleash some of exactly. its ambitious social sector schemes such as the food security bill the government also wants to take narega to the next level at this point in time mm -hmm. the economic situation of the country uh, with with that in mind the government has to act with certain sense right. of restraint because that's not very comfortable that's not comforting enough for the government to adopt some of uh, these uh, social sector reforms exactly. uh, because of uh, because of the fiscal deficit